Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you all some of my thoughts on some recent products that I've purchased in hauls and stuff like that. And I think that this is going to be helpful because, for one, I, well, I really like doing makeup hauls. I like doing them in a way that kind of shares with you all either uh, my thoughts on the products or maybe if I've used them a little bit or things that I've heard about them and kind of like showing you them. Uh, but for years, when I first started my channel, I didn't do hauls. I'm very like anti hauls where it's just like, I got this and this and this and that and this and that, bye. You know, because it's like, what's the point? So I hated that for a lot of these products. I hadn't had the chance to really try them. I didn't really know a lot about them. And um, after I've used them over the past like few weeks, I've really had a lot of different thoughts about them. And some of them aren't like makeup products where I would normally like incorporate into following, you know, later videos and kind of just say, oh, by the way, I like this or this is that or whatever. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. A lot of these things are from my Sephora haul. Um, a couple, well, I'll talk about something that's a little different, but, um, but yeah, most of them are from my Sephora haul. I recently purchased a few other things from Sephora too. That was a huge Sephora haul. And after this last Sephora haul that hasn't come yet, but, um, I know that I will not be shopping at Sephora for a very long time. Busted out my little, um, foxy sweat sweater sweater shirt I don't it's not really thick enough to be a sweater I don't know fall has actually hit and it is a lot cooler which in all of my recent fall series videos I have griped about the weather in every single one and it suddenly decided it would turn fall um so I bust out my little fox sweater again and I just love this one I will never get tired of this sweater these were such like a trendy thing last year that I was really surprised to see that um they're kind of back a little bit this year, but even if they weren't, I would still wear mine because I love it because I think trends like that are kind of dumb. Um, or following trends like that are dumb. If you like it, wear it. Uh, but yeah, I was excited about that. I don't know why I'm talking about my fox. I just saw it in my little... Okay, let's start with what the video is actually about. Okay, so first, the Glam Glow Super Mud Masks. These came in a set at Sephora. All this stuff I'm going to talk about, I'll link... Um, so that you guys can can find it and stuff like that and read more about them if you're interested. Um, this is the clearing treatment. It's for um, for breakouts. This is called the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment, and they are the same and they're different. <laughs> so I'm gonna explain. There's a good and a bad. There's a clear good and a bad. <laughs> Not bad. I will explain. Um, this one I really like. The Super Mud was the one that I was really interested in and the one that I had that I was going to order and then when I saw that they had a set I just went ahead and sprung for the set. This one, like I said in the video, goes on dark like a dark charcoal color and it dries and you're it claims to, you know, that you're supposed to be able to see like um little black specks like where the dirt's coming out of your skin is kind of the what it claims to do. It dries to like a light putty color and it does show where stuff is in your pores. And it is, it's not because it's drawing black stuff out of your pores. It's just because the mask turns lighter as it dries. And it's not going to dry around areas that are oily or areas where like oil or dirt or whatever is in your pores. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. So it's very minty. The only thing that I didn't like about it is that it had these odd chunks in it that didn't dry. I, I wasn't sure what the point of those chunks were. In the Tingle Exfoliate, it actually has exfoliating chunks, and I'll talk about that in a moment. This one actually is exfoliating. Um, this one just has weird large chunks. I don't, still, still, I have no idea what they did. Well, as it's drying over that 10 minutes, I'm thinking, this is so gimmicky. Like, this is just another one of those masks. Like, I'm going to take it off, and it's just, you know, this is dumb. This isn't the dirt coming out of my pores. It's just where it's not drying around that area. So, um, so I rinsed it off and when you go to rinse it off it turns dark again because again like I said the only reason it's turning light is because it's drying um when I rinsed it off I can honestly say I've never had such instant results from any skin product ever every time I've ever talked about a skin thing I've always said give it two weeks no matter if it's a cleanser a mask an acne treatment whatever You've got to give it two weeks to see any results. You cannot be unrealistic with your expectation. Expect to wash something off and be like, wow, my skin is transformed. <laughs> you know, it's not going to live up to all the promises that it makes right away. But this stuff was really interesting. Like, I rinsed it off and I literally just, like, was up close in the mirror and I was just looking at my skin and I was like, this is bizarre. Like, all of the little 
and I don't have like bad blackheads or anything by any means, but you can, if you get close, you can see like pores and stuff that are clogged on my nose, a little bit on my chin. I do have breakouts um, here and there, but it, I have oily skin. Um, but I'm not kidding, like, they were all gone on my nose, and I was like, what the heck? It really felt like it tightened my pores, and it made my skin look super, like, luminous and even. It was bizarre. So, I was like, holy crap, this is good stuff. And it really helped my, um, like, around my chin area, which is where I break out the most. I have ha I've used that twice so far. I've had the same exact thing happen both times. It wasn't just a fluke the first time. I feel like it really helped my skin. So, that is good stuff. So two nights ago I tried the Tingle Exfoliate and when you put this one on, this one is a little harder to spread. Um, I feel like I'm definitely going to run out of this super quick because this was only one time that I used it and I feel like I used a lot of it while although it was extremely thin on my face, like I don't feel like it really went a very long way even though it looks like I used a lot. Um, this you just need a very thin amount. It goes on the same way. That one has almost like a soapier floral scent to it. And when you put it on, you can feel tons of little exfoliating, like almost like sand. It's not one of those things that says it's exfoliating and has like a couple of little things. And then it had these large weird chunks that almost looked like seaweed. And I was going to look that up and see what, what that was, but I, I didn't. Um, and a lot of them I just picked off because it was weird. It was almost like paper. As far as the tingle, I was kind of worried about that because I thought this is going to really set my face on fire because the super mud was for about a minute, like in the middle, like right at the five minute mark, it was almost uncomfortable. I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to like irritate my skin. But then it stops and it was okay. So this absolutely didn't irritate my skin or dry it out or do anything crazy, although it felt like it was. Um... The Tingle Exfoliate wasn't any more uncomfortable. It was the same tingly feeling. Uh, when I rinsed it off, I rinsed it off with my hands and not a washcloth uh, so that I could ex use the exfoliating things at the end. Um, that one had no effect. It dried exactly like the Super Mud Dried Lighter. It absolutely had no effect on my skin. I use exfoliators on my skin anyways. Um, I use a Clarisonic. So I did not notice anything. If you've like never exfoliated or you go weeks without doing it, you may notice a difference, you may notice your skin smoother. I noticed nothing because I exfoliate my skin anyways. I didn't notice anything with my pores or any sort of clearing effect or anything like that. So I definitely would not repurchase this one, although I, I'm not saying it's a bad product. I think that if you're the type of person that has not exfoliated your skin or you just don't, you'll probably notice a difference. But um. I think that this one did just as good of a job. And honestly, my skin felt really smooth after using this one. So I don't think I would waste my time on the Tingle Exfoliate. I think I would just get this one. This is like probably the only mask that I will ever use from now on because it's so good. I'll kind of quickly run through the rest because those were kind of the most intense. But the Veil Mineral Primer, I am really into this. I am not a primer person. I usually hate them. I think that for the most part, they just... Well, you know, they'll, they'll make your makeup go on smoother, but I feel like I use a good moisturizer, my skin's in good shape, so my makeup never goes on bad. Um, and, you know, I have oilier skin, so a lot of times they don't even prolong the wear or anything, because I have to touch up anyways. Uh, but I actually feel like this, I can tell a difference. I think this is great for oily skin. I like that it has SPF 15. Because my foundation that I use, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, doesn't have um, doesn't have a SPF in it, so I like that this does. Now it's very slippery, kind of silicone feeling, which really I it grosses me out. When you put it on your skin, I hate that feeling. It just feels oily, and you know what I mean. It's almost like a powdery, like a dry slip feeling. Um, I hate that. I think that feels so gross going on my skin. So, I've done it both ways. I've done it a couple times, just like a regular primer first, then apply your makeup. Great results. I feel like my makeup stays fresher looking throughout the day. It stays looking like it did when I first put it on a lot longer. Um, but what I've started doing is I mix half and half with my foundation, and then I just apply it all over. So I put, you know, put about a pump on my hand. Not half and half fully. Probably a little more foundation than primer. But I put about a pump on my hand. And then I do a little bit of the foundation. And then I kind of mix it up with my finger. And I dot it on my face and blend it in. It's so easy and I get the same exact results. So I like that because I don't like the feel of how it 
feels going on my skin. So that's a good tip with that and it gives you the same results. The Lancome Waterproof Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. Gonna be totally honest, didn't like it. The, the tone, well this is called Light Buff and it's made for your under eye area. So I was surprised that, that the tone was just all off. To me, I feel like it was too yellow for my under eye area. When I first used it in that video, when I was actually doing the haul, and I said, oh, I didn't, you know, anything I think would have helped a little bit, and I, as I was applying it, I was like, oh, that helps, but it's still probably a little shadowy, because I was thinking, oh, I need to apply a little more, and I had already applied quite a bit, so I found that to be the case as I used it. I felt like I, I would use it, and then I would feel like I needed to apply more, because my under eye area was still shadowy, and it wasn't because my under eye circles were showing, it was because this is the wrong tone. Maybe the yellow would work for some people. I don't find that yellow generally works for under eye circles. Um, but it is a bit yellow toned and I found that it just wasn't brightening enough. So I didn't like it. I found that it kind of, the formula itself accentuated like lines and it just was very dry. I just, I was not into this at all. Maybe a different shade, I don't know. And speaking of under eye concealers, the Tarte Mariju Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This came um, in a kit from Tarte. They sent me, they sent me things here and there. And I always, you know, I always tell you guys if that's the case, but for me it doesn't really matter if when I, because I tell you the truth anyways. And I think a lot of people are, think that makeup gurus are like scared to say things that are wrong with products, which has never been the case for me if they're sent to you. But companies like to send us things so that we show things. And honestly, if you say something bad about something, they'd be more likely to say, oh, well, let me make that up to you. That's not why I say bad things. But I'm just saying, when you think that people are just saying, oh, this is great because someone sent it to you, that's not the case. That's not the case for me. That's definitely not how it works. Um, so to me, it's no different than if I would have purchased it because over the years, I've gotten so many things from companies and things like that that it just doesn't matter. Um, I use it just as if I would have purchased it myself and review it the same way. But this, I thought, perfect, you know, it's, this, it's the right tone, which this is the right color, this is the light shade. Um, it is so thick, it's like super glue, like, or not super glue, super thin, but it was just so gluey and you have to really work to get it blended in because it comes out in a giant, you have to really squeeze it to come out and see, it's like a tube of product. and when you put it on your under eye area, like let's just say, you have to like really press it in to get that off. Now the actual coverage is amazing. This color was perfect. But again, it doesn't set, it doesn't dry. I'm not asking for it to fully dry, but this would not dry all day. Like if I rub this into my hand, it's still super sticky and it transfers, you see? So I wish, and Tarte makes some of my favorite products, I just wish that they would figure out their under eye concealers because the BB, this one was the same exact way and I just, I can't stand it and people might say, oh, you have to set it with something. No, you never want your under eye concealer to be like wet like that because if you set that with a powder, you would have like creases and grossness within like 10 minutes. Um, if I set under eye concealer, it's not because it's wet, it's just so that it's like, I don't know how to describe it, just so that it's just so that it's set, so that it's smooth and, and done. Um, but I don't know, this is just weird stuff. <laughs> Even when I really rub it off to like get it off my hand, it's still sticky. So Tarte, please fix that, because I really want to use that, because the color is perfect and the coverage is amazing, but it just needs to set up and not be so thick. The Hourglass, I have been using this so much, this is the palette. Um, it has three different colors. You can see that video from me talking a lot more about it, but when you guys have been com commenting on my cheek color lately, it's usually either the Benefit Rocketeur or the Chanel Malice with this last darkest color over it. So I think it just makes anything more glowy and I, I just, I really love it, but I think a lot of people aren't really, they don't really know what these are. I have oily skin. I use them. It doesn't have anything to do with oily skin or dry skin or anything like that. It doesn't make you look like you've got frost on your face. It just gives you a beautiful glow. And they can be used as finishing powders too without giving you shine. So I think that's what people are confused about. It doesn't make you shiny. It just gives you like a beautiful like glowy effect. And I haven't really reached for my other two lately, which I love those. I need to like be better about that. But this is truly everything that you need. Um, 
So I think this is a really good buy. If you have not tried these, definitely pick this up before the, um, I know the friends and family is going on, uh, but I know that Sephora, like an employee, actually has to invite you. It's like a true friends and family. I know that the Beauty Insider sales are probably coming up too, and I'm sure that this is going to be one of those things that that is sold out. Um, the Formula X polishes, just really quickly, I used it today and can't really speak as to the wear of them, but I will talk about that on my upcoming favorites video. Um, this is the Curiosity shade, and I will say that I've never had a nail polish, like, I, okay, this is no top coat. It's kind of sloppy. I, I messed up when I painted them because I was in a hurry. I don't know if you can tell. Again, I'm sorry if my cuticles look gross, but this is no top coat and two coats and with one coat it almost looked exactly like this like I felt like the second coat was almost unnecessary but it sets like a gel like you can see it almost looks thick it has like like when it curves at the end of your finger or at the end of your nail tip it sort of has like that bubbled over I don't know how to describe it but that curve you know that gel finishes have so that is really exciting and Dangerous because now I want more of them. I have this little guy that is the pyrotechnic that's more pink that came with my, um, it was a beauty insider thing that I spent my points on, but, um, well, I'll give you a little spoiler. In my next Sephora haul, I ordered a big set of them. And they're probably going to be like this size, which is fine because it's not like, I mean, I have so many nail polishes, it's not like I go through, you know, I wouldn't go through one very quickly. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to show you guys that. So that is it. I feel like that was a very long video, but a lot of stuff to talk about and review. Usually, I, I think I could have done a whole video on probably each of those products, but, um, but yeah, I just wanted to get it all out there and tell you guys what I felt about all those. Uh, just in case if you were thinking about purchasing them or you were curious about anything, because I know it's kind of tough sometimes when you first, you know, you see a haul video and I'm not able to really tell you my experience with it. So hopefully this helped because these were some really interesting products, I think. And I will, as always, have an accompanying blog post um, on my blog for this video. Um, I'll list all the products and again have them, you know, have them in like a little widget so you can see everything. And I'm also going to start doing something new because a lot of you guys have asked about like my lip color or my cheeks or whatever that I wear in videos. Um, I will do that on my blog and have a little widget too that shows everything that I've used, which I can't really do in my more info. I can tell you what I used, but it's a little more fun that way. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if it was a little long. Again, it was a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, this week we, oh, I have something else fun coming up this week too. I'm about to film it now. So I hope that you guys have a fabulous week. Look for that video coming up toward the end of the week. And I will have a new home post on my blog, maybe like Wednesday, Thursday, middle of the week. I'll try to get that up too. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.